Hey everyone, I'm Katie from Addicted to DIY and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this football wall art you see behind me. So my youngest son loves football and I knew I wanted to incorporate that into his room remodel. So I drew up some football plays on my iPad Pro, transferred them over to my computer and then carved them on my X-Carve. I'm partnering with Inventables today to show you how you can create your own. I made this wall art out of scrap wood that I had left over from other projects. I ripped one by two boards down on my table saw, then cut them down to size on my miter saw. These will make up the frames of the wall art. I also ripped the plywood down into 14 and a half by 18 and a half inch pieces, then sanded them all smooth. I sanded the one by two boards down, then stained them with Varathane stain in special walnut and set them aside to dry. For all of the plywood pieces, I painted them green and set them aside to dry as well. Once the paint was dry, I set up my X-Carve. I swapped out the bits and used my 90 degree V bit to carve the designs. I've uploaded the designs for this project into Easel and you can find the link in the description below. Drawing up the plays and transferring them over to Easel was simple. I used Adobe Illustrator to save them as an SVG, then uploaded the SVG to Easel. You can do this with virtually any design you create by hand or images that you have downloaded. Once the designs were carved, it was time to attach the frame pieces. I used one and a quarter inch brad nails and nailed the one by two boards to the plywood all the way around. When all of the pieces were assembled, I hung them on the wall using adhesive Velcro strips. I love using these for all of my wall art so that I don't leave permanent holes anywhere. This wall art was such a simple project and can be completed in just a matter of hours. As I said, I've uploaded the project into Easel, which is the free software from Inventables. If you'd like to design your own project, it's easy to do within Easel, or even drawing it up on your iPad and transferring it over like I did. Now that I'm done with the wall art, I'm ready to get started on the closet remodel in this room. Be sure to stay tuned for that and also follow me on Instagram where I'll be sharing sneak peeks and updates of the progress. For more video tutorials, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're interested in seeing what else the X-Carve can do, I've queued up a few other videos that I think you may enjoy. Thanks so much for watching today.